to make a seed sprite with your own choice of leaf on the top um, we can follow this process here the pattern comes with um, three shapes of leaf already provided and this one is the cherry leaf that I used on this example that I stitched up as part of the pattern but you might want to choose your own leaf so for example from the garden I got a little uh, rose leaf maybe it could come from your favorite rose plant um, and then I got this larger leaf which is from a uh, St John's wort that grows in our garden now these two leaves as you can see is, are a bit too large and a bit too small so here's how you can translate your own leaf to fit with the pattern and place it at the top of your seed sprite. Let's make a start with the small seed, small leaf here. So here's what I'd do. You get your leaf and you just carefully draw around it. This leaf has got lots of little jaggedy teeth, but I'm just going to go for the general shape to begin with. So I just draw around the outside of it. So you get an accurate um, shape of the leaf to begin with. There we go. That's a bit slightly wonky leaf this, I quite like that. But it's not perfectly symmetrical. Okay, so there's, there's the outline of the leaf. And then we'll take the next nearest shape that we've got. So I guess It's, it's somewhere in between these two. What I'm going to do is just roughly, as a guide, go very lightly around the outside of this one. This is just giving us an idea of the size we're looking for. Um, and then also this one here. I'll put it over the top. So it gives us a, an idea that we don't really want to go out of um, a shape that's either this long or this wide as a guide and then I'm going to take this shape here that we've that we traced around the outside and I'm going to just make it a bit larger do exactly the same but making an equal line around the outside like that something like that you can have a look back at the original leaf and see if you think that's a fairly accurate drawing. I don't really, I think we could adjust it a little bit. But it's to whatever you're happy with. And then you could look at it and say, well, I want to take the detail of these little uh, serrated edges. And bearing in mind you're cutting into felt, so you don't want to make those that detail too tiny. But you could do a little bit of that. You could just take a few chunks out of the side to show that it was a rose leaf rather than any other type. Take those down the outside like little jagged teeth. There we go. And do the same on the other side. So then you can cut this shape out and use that in place of the ones that are provided as part of the pattern. You might want to adjust it a little bit more, but it would be a leaf that would be part of your garden or something connected to you, maybe a memory. And then for the larger leaf, you do exactly the same. Again, you draw around it, but you do the opposite. You would um, draw inside the shape of the leaf to get the right sort of size. I'm not doing this very neatly because I'm trying to do it quickly. There we go. So there's our, there's our large St. John's wort leaf. Again, this one's perfect because it gives you a good idea of the sort of size that you need. So to bring it in, you'd need to kind of make it that sort of size between those two points. Um, and so I would basically draw it as best as I can, bring it in. There we go, we've got a sort of smaller version of it. It's not a foolproof system, but it's not bad. You could even decide to uh, take the little chunk out the side. I, when I was looking for leaves, there were some that had been nobbled quite badly on the sage plant outside. I thought, hmm, what if I knew what nobbled it? I might quite like that. There we go. So that would be in place 
of the uh, leaves that were provided in the pattern and you'd cut that out, pin it to your felt and away you go. Hope that makes sense. If you've got any questions about it, do get in touch. Um, if you've got a tricky leaf that you want to translate into a pattern, I'll see what I can do to help.